With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. A and B are two points on a uniform ring of resistance 15 ohms. The angle AOB is 45 degrees. The equivalent resistance between A and B is. So here they have given you a diagram where you have a uniform ring. This wire which you are seeing A, C, B, D, A is a ring which has a resistance of totally 15 ohms. And the angle AOB is found to be 45 degrees and you have to find the equivalent resistance between A and B point. So between this you have to find the resistance. Now to start with it, see we have a uniform ring and this whole ring is having a resistance of 15 ohms. Now if you have to see to the resistance between A and B, you have to know the resistance between A, C, B and the resistance between A, D, B so that you can see the resistance equivalent resistance. Now to find the resistance between uh, A, C, B or A, D, B, you have a small partition here with an angle given as 45 degrees. So what we do is for 360 degrees for one complete circle that is for 360 degrees the value of resistance is 15 ohms. So for 45 degrees how much resistance we have that you have to see it first. So to see it for 45 degrees first we shall see it for 1 degrees. So for 1 degree how much we shall see so that it will be 15 by 360. So this gives you let us keep this as 15 by 360 and now for 45 degrees how much it is now so for 1 degree it is 15 by 360 and for 45 degrees you will multiply that by 45 and so the equivalent resistance for that you will get it as 1.875 ohms so with an angle of between this angle 45 degrees in this diagram that is with the a, D, B, this part of the resistance wire has a resistance of 1.875 ohms. So totally it is 15 ohms in that A, D, B has a part of resistance 1.875 ohms. So you can write the circuit like this. You have one wire. Here you have one curve where you have one resistance added here. This is another part of the curve where you have one more resistance and this is B. So here you have A and this is B. So this part we have calculated as 1.875 ohms and the remaining one totally it is 15 right. So 15 minus 1.875 gives you 13.125 ohms. So this part has 13.125 ohms. Now in this we will find the equivalent resistance. See now these two resistances are connected in parallel and you will find the equivalent resistance. So that equivalent resistance R equivalent will be equal to 13.125 R1 into R2 divided by R1 plus R2. So that is 13.125 plus 1.875 and this when you simplify it you will get R equivalent as 1.64 ohms. So now let us see the options correct option for this. Option A has the right answer 1.64 ohms. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.